The world was young and cold, but in the heart of Asia, a forest was waiting. Two million years ago, these Asian forests were awakening. It was a world of small, agile spirits, the first primates, masters of the high canopy. For a time, the world was still, the climate was kind, but this long peace allowed a new seed to spread. And so, the great split occurred. Some stayed with the old world, but one came down to the ground. This new, tough food demanded a new form. And over ages, its body grew, but its jaw was the key. A living millstone to grind the forest. The world changed with them. The canopy closed. It became a cooler, darker, and wetter world. But this ape survived. It was tough. It was built to endure the new, harsher world. To compete with giants, it had to become a giant. Evolution favored size. To compete with giants, it had to become a giant. Evolution favored size. 1.6 million years ago, the engine of this giant was its jaw. The muscles grew stronger, thicker. The teeth changed, growing into massive, flat molars. Living grinding stones for a fibrous world. 1.5 million years ago, it was a success. 1.8 million years ago, after an age of change, a true giant emerged. The world grew darker. The great canopies closed overhead, stealing the light. But in this new, low light, one plant thrived the first rich forests of bamboo. This endless food fueled the final change. The ape grew to its true size. Its skull. One point five million years ago, Asia's forests reached their peak. A lush green world. And in this rich green world, the giant ape reigned. It had no equal. It was the dominant herbivore, a gentle king. The smaller life felt no fear. Its movement was slow, deliberate, and powerful. The ground shook. Its day was simple, a slow, peaceful search for food and long, long hours of feeding. 1.5 million years ago, the giant was perfected. This was its prime. The forests were full. The giants thrived. Their numbers were at their peak. The forest was endless, a universe of bamboo. It gave and gave again. In this world, even the greatest predators knew respect. The giant walked alone. The forest was its kingdom. The giant was its king. Its long, stable reign had begun. To understand a giant, we must enter its forest. The morning of its world. Its first task is to find food. It moves like a living mountain. The giant wakes with the mist, a slow, quiet start. It does not rush. It observes, listening to the sounds of its world. And then it feeds. For hours, it will feast on the bamboo. The jaw was a living millstone. It crushed what no other could break. After the long feast, it drinks. The forest provides all that it needs. The small daily comforts. 
The wind, the water, the scratch of ancient bark. A giant of peace. Its great hands were not weapons. They were tools of care. This was a solitary spirit, a giant of peace. Its true strength was knowing when not to fight. After the tension comes peace. The long, quiet afternoon rest. The Forest King was a quiet neighbor. It watched as the small spirits danced in its world. Its day is a journey. A slow patrol of its vast green kingdom. This was a solitary life. A giant that sought the silence of the fog. The light fades. The long day is done. The giant seeks its shelter. The forest was never silent. It spoke in the voices of giants. But the forest's true sound was life. The deep bond of a mother and her child. The first lesson, how to eat. How to break the unbreakable forest. The world was new. Every leaf, every shadow. This is play. The ancient, joyful dance of life. But the forest holds dangers. The first lesson is how to listen. To rule this forest, the giant spoke a deep call. He spoke with his voice. But the male was a solitary king. And in its kingdom, it rarely welcomed a rival. In the mating season, his behavior changed. But the male was a solitary king. And in its kingdom, it rarely welcomed a rival. There was no battle. There was no blood. Only a test of size. A show of non-aggressive power. The gentle king returns to his peace. The knight had its own life. Its own voice. Its own sounds. Even the king must respect the sky. He finds shelter and waits. 900,000 years ago, the giant ape. Bone crushers, the giant hyena. Relentless hunters, following the scent of the living. And Titan. Armored giants roamed the edges. The ancient rhino, a fortress on legs. And the fleeting spirits, the deer, always watching, always afraid. And the wolves, not strong alone, but deadly as a tide. Others shared the feast. The ancestor of the panda, a quiet rival for the bamboo. Even the water held teeth. Patience waiting beneath the green. The small ones were the eyes of the forest. Their cries were the first warning. The small ones were the eyes of the forest. Their cries were the first warning. From the sky, death had wings, a shadow that fell upon the careless. The warning was heard. The giant chose peace. It moved. Against this titan, courage failed. The predator became the fleeing shadow. But when cornered, the giant revealed itself. The forest held its breath. A silent pact between the weak and the king. 
It had mastered the predators. It lived in peace with giants. But nothing... The eternal forest began to retreat. The jungle... The moist breath of the jungle vanished. The ground turned to dust. Failed. The cool mists evaporated. A giant built for shadows burned in the sun and its lifeblood. The endless bamboo withered. The feast. Peace turned to rivalry. Old neighbors became enemies over a single stalk. And in the shadows, the hunters counted. They sensed a weakening king. The sky itself turned against them. Storms tore the dying forest. The green ocean shattered. Their world became lonely. Islands. To survive, they had to leave the shadows forced into the burning light. Without bamboo, the giant turned to bark and roots. It wandered through the skeletons of trees. For a world, the bamboo fled the heat, retreating to the cool peaks, a feast beyond reach. Hunger brought stress. The great calm of the king began to break. The herds grew smaller. The forest grew quiet. The long, slow decline had begun. 400,000 years ago, broke the great forests, then the bamboo. Failed. To eat, they had to walk miles of burning ground for a mouthful of green. Teeth ground down. The great jaw ached with every bite. The fuel ran out. The massive body began to consume, and the silence spread to the cradles. Mothers held nothing but empty air. Desperation turned neighbor against neighbor. The gentle kings fought for scraps. But there was nowhere to run. The world of trees ended here. Rivers turned to stone. The giant dug, but found only dust. It tried to change. But nature is cruel. The king of bamboo could not become a grazer. Even its own garden was no longer safe. Smaller rivals fought for every stalk. It gorged on leaves. Driven from the light, it retreated. Deeper into the dark. The shadows grew teeth. The hunters knew the king was losing his crown. There was no rest. To survive on scraps, it had to eat, even in the dark. The winter took the old. It took the weak. The great march left them behind. It was not a battle, but a slow fade. Families were cut off, separated by oceans of burning grass. Fear became a poison. It lived in their blood, a constant, silent. But the giant would not go quietly. Rage was its last fuel. Three hundred thousand years ago, the balance tipped. The forest stopped fighting back. The ancient canopy withdrew, leaving the giants naked under the burning sun. Where the trees died, the grass conquered. 
To the giant ape, this sea of yellow was a desert. The bamboo tried to rise, but the earth was too dry to feed it. A coat built for the Ice Age became a prison in the heat. And so the monsters vanished. The great roar faded into the wind. Those with strength left marched south, leaving the dying plains. The lifeblood of the land evaporated. They drank only earth and dust. Without roots to hold it, the earth gave way. The thousands became the few. The ancient bloodline was choking. The bloodline grew thin. Vitality faded. They were ghosts before they died. A few found sanctuary. Hidden valleys forgotten by the sun. The last green islands. But the sky had no mercy. The sanctuary was torn apart. The giant's fire dimmed. A slow, hollow end. The world moved on, but the giant could not follow. It was a prisoner. 150,000 years ago, the empire was gone. Only scattered ghosts remained. They walked alone. Kings of an empty kingdom. The roof of the world had fallen. The shelter was gone. A body built for feasts, starved on scraps. The giant was fading. <sighs> did not wait for age. The strong withered in their prime. Their kingdom shrank to a speck, trapped in high valleys. Beyond the trees, there was nothing. No new home, only the end. He listened for a voice that would never come. He was utterly alone. A final call to a world that was already gone. 100,000 years ago, the count fell to zero. The lush world was dry. The giant begged the stones for water. The crown had fallen. Lesser beasts pushed the king aside. There was nowhere left but up into the cold stone peaks. As the season broke, freeze, burn, freeze, burn. A chaos no life could predict. The dry heat was the final hammer. The rocks became a graveyard. The last green refuge turned to gray. The giant's world had evaporated. Across the entire continent, perhaps only a handful remained. Five, maybe ten souls. The audio is silent with no sound. Seventy thousand years ago, the heartbeat slowed to a stop. The last king walked into the mist and never returned. The trees stood empty. The shadows held no giants. Fifty thousand years ago, the timeline ended. They left us only bone, a final lesson 